Come on, first cave. Just going down the road. At an easy pace. <laughs> Excellent. You can see these people's feet into dodging and out a bit. There we go. Recognise this man. Comes from old Blighty. I think he's still got a smile on his face. Wonder if he will in uh, 100 miles' time. A little hill. Start walking. Entertainment near it. Chopping a hat up there. You can see it there. Chopping a funny hat, a green hat. So, there's this Chamonix Valley. All the people making their way up this Land Rover track. Beautiful view. Over to the Vert and uh, Mont Blanc up there. Absolutely fantastic. Now at the refuge Bertoni. So absolutely knackered. Just so big the ascent. So I'm gonna struggle on this. These views anyway. Just looking up to the Don de Gail. Over to Mont Blanc. Fabulous. So this is the final rest station. We just had a massage, which was quite nice. I'm not sure about their binding up the shins, it wasn't very effective. So I'm going to go for the last stage, but it'll be a complete walk every step of the way. So it's going to be hard. An humble side member disappearing into the distance. So those are the strips that they use to mark the trail. I forget how many of them. I think there's about 15,000 of them. There's the other sign. Alt short for Ultra Trail, in case you hadn't noticed. Nice shade of pink. This doesn't need a lot of explanation. This is tree off about uh, 20 past 10 in the evening. That's where I'm some dinner. I'm going to miss those men in the green t shirts at open. The organisers. How are you feeling at the moment then? Pretty good. Pretty good, right? So I'm falling asleep, so you're looking pretty sprightly by comparison, actually. Mm. Night shift. Oh, uh, night shift, that's what does it. Yeah. Right. Well, this is the so-called restroom, which I have just availed myself. Very comfortable, actually. Well, this man's descending technique after the race it isn't, isn't too bad. Well, look at this. Yeah, no, he's smiling, look. Levering himself down. Here he comes. Right, this is my technique for getting down. Well, this is the reason I struggled a bit on uh, that run. You can see the soreness there, that shin splints. Which basically means that every step you get a shooting pain up through the leg. So. Um, very glad I had the poles because I wouldn't have finished it without the poles. 
Got a nice little blister here as well. As you can see. Just there. And he's popping, I reckon. <laughs> Lovely. Just as well he can't smell them. So the only solution for my poor leg is a bag of well, beans in this case rather than uh, peas. So I think that will be this afternoon's activity, holding a bag of beans on my leg. Right, so it's peas today. It was beans yesterday. So uh, shin splints with peas today. Badge on there, hold on. There you, there you go. I don't want to zoom in on it. Common sense went out the window. Finisher. That's what matters, isn't it? Yep. Life in slow motion. Some